How would you like to boost your credit score by 200 points practically overnight? Well, there is a new way to do it, and it works. But is it legal? That's the subject of tonight's Fact Finders report. Here's Peter Thorne. Peter. Jim, who hasn't dreamed of having more than what you've already got? But for a lot of folks, there is just one obstacle, that annoying little credit score. Now a controversial way to make your score jump higher than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. But are you asking for trouble? Trendy clothes, flashy car, big house. The American consumer wants it all. And a lot of it gets financed on credit. But what if your credit score is too low and you can't buy your heart's desire? Now, a controversial new way to artificially boost your score and make dreams come true. We've seen this for about maybe six to eight months. It's a relatively new phenomenon. Same people that brought you credit repair are now bringing you credit boosting. And this is just one of the latest um, schemes that we've come across. He calls it a scheme. Others call it credit boosting or piggyback credit. Whatever you call it, it's causing controversy and triggering consumer warnings. Websites like this one with catchy come-ons promising, for a price, to reveal the so-called hidden secret to raise your credit score by at least 100 points. Similar sites promise dramatic jumps of over 200 points to your score. More than enough to qualify for that big loan. It's anonymous, and people are willing to make transactions now over the Internet. Uh, without ever having a face-to-face -face transaction. And, by the way, a lot of these folks are very, uh, are very desperate. Our goal is to help them get their lives back on track, uh, help them get, in, get them, their lives into a position where they can afford um, to pay for their home, send their kids to college save money for themselves. If you're wondering, does it work? Apparently, yes, and here's how. You pay anywhere from one to $3,000. In exchange, your name gets added to established credit card accounts with good payment histories from perfect strangers, so-called age credit accounts. You become an authorized user on that established card. On your next credit report, that card's good payment history is automatically listed at all three credit reporting agencies, dating back to the day the card was first opened. That person's good credit overnight becomes yours. So, is it legal? The reality of the world is you've misrepresented and falsely stated your situation to obtain a financial benefit. Every part of the country I know of that's illegal. And the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, told fact finders this by phone. It's a fairly new um, business practice, um, so we have heard about it. And as to whether or not the agency has received any complaints, I honestly don't know. Consumers should be wary. Um, whenever someone claims they can improve a person's credit score. So what do New Yorkers think about credit boosting? Is that, is that serious? That doesn't sound legal to me. I want it to be legal. Everything you got to do with the bank, you got to be legal. I won't do that because it's not honest to do that. Mm, no. No one thought it was worth it, but apparently enough people are doing it that credit industry watchdogs are alarmed. I think that we've got to figure out a way to get to these websites and close them down. Well, the real secret to all this is that you don't even need these websites. You can do this for free if you've got a good friend or relative who's willing to go along. Yeah, right. But the loophole that allows this all to work may be closing fast. One major credit agency says starting in September, it will no longer consider authorized users when calculating your credit score. Now, if you have a tip for a story, please visit us at CW11.com slash factfinders. And, guys, I guess this is another case of... Buyer beware. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't think would, I have any friends that can. No, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking right? the same. Or relatives. Mm -hmm. But why would somebody do that? I mean, get, let their own credit, which is good, be used by somebody else whose credit is bad. Well, the people who are allowing their credit to be rented are actually selling their good credit uh, to one of these middlemen for about 130 or 140 bucks, who then rent it out to somebody else who needs it. It sounds, as some of the New York